In this tutorial, we'll learn how to solve for x by completing the square. So here we have an equation that is x squared minus 10x plus 10 equal to 0. And normally when we solve for x, we would try to factorize this trinomial. So remember to factorize is to create two brackets that will multiply out to create this trinomial. But if we use the factors of 10 to create the factors in our bracket, we would notice there are no factors of 10 that will create the middle term. So therefore, we need to use a different method called completing the square. Now before I show you that method, let us quickly just look at a basic quadratic equation. So here we have ax squared plus bx plus c. And when we complete the square, we are going to focus on the coefficient of x. So what we would do is we will add half of b squared and subtract half of b squared in order to create a trinomial that we can factorize. So let me show you how that looks like practically in our example. What we want to do is find a value for x. And before I can do that, I'll take x squared minus 10x and set that equal to negative 10. So I move the negative 10 to the right hand side. Now in order to keep this equation in balance, I can add the same values to the left and to the right that will create a trinomial that we can factorize. And the easiest way to find the number that we can add to create a trinomial that we can factorize is to use the coefficient in front of x. So that coefficient is negative 10. And in order to complete the square, we would add the square of half of negative 10. So half of negative 10 is negative 5 squared, and that is equal to positive 25. So I can add positive 25 to the left hand side of my equation, and I repeat that calculation on the right hand side. Now you can see that our equation still balances out because we added the same amount on the left and on the right. But what we have created on the left hand side is called a perfect square. What that means is that we have created a trinomial that we are able to factorize. So when I factorize x squared minus 10x plus 25, it will lead to x minus 5 multiplied with itself. And that is equal to positive 15. Now what we have created is a perfect square meaning a bracket that is multiplied with itself. So we are closer to solving for x. Our next part would be to get rid of the x square. And how we do that is take the square root on the left and on the right. So that will lead to x minus 5 is equal to the square root of 15. But notice I can have positive or negative of this square root that will solve the equation. So think of it. If I say negative 3 squared, that is also equal to positive 3 squared. And if I say negative the square root of 15 squared, that will be equal to positive 15. And also positive the square root of 15 squared would be equal to positive 15. So that is why we consider plus and minus when we consider solving for x. Now what is left to do in order to find x, we need to transpose the negative 5. So move it to the right hand side. And that will be plus 5 plus minus the square root of 15. So therefore we have two possible values for x. x would be equal to 5 plus the square root of 15. Or x would be equal to 5 minus the square root of 15. But that is how we solve for x by completing the square. So remember, we took the constant to the right hand side, and then we added square of half of the coefficient of x. And that allowed us to factorize this trinomial, and that led to two possible values for x that will satisfy this equation.